So let's start with crack fill. The importance of crack fill, um, any specifics about crack fill, any information you can just share with us. Well, one of the things that I hear, uh, especially in the South, that in my opinion is one of the most misleading uh, references is that we don't get the freeze thaw that everybody does up north and so we don't need to crack fill and one of the biggest reasons that you actually crack fill is water intrusion you want to keep the water out keep it from washing away your base and fines and making that small crack a much larger crack or potholes and then requiring more costly repairs down the road in my opinion if you were going to allocate a limited budget to doing one thing and you only had enough to do one thing i would do crack fill with without a doubt the biggest thing is everybody wants to beautify by seal coating mm -hmm. when really to do a proper maintenance program you need to start from the ground up no different than building the house you have to have a strong foundation before you can build the house on top of it and expect it to stand if you aren't properly maintaining your cracks and keeping water from washing away the fines, your parking lot is going to deteriorate to a point much quicker and cost you more money down the road than if you chose to do one of the other options. Okay. Well, let's move into seal coat. Could you tell us, give us information in regards to what is seal coat? Why do you seal coat? When do you seal coat? So let's start with when. Um, you want 50 degrees and rising temperatures in order to apply seal coat for 24 hours after application. A lot of people start to think, well, 50 degrees and that's daytime temperatures. That's not, it's nighttime temperatures. Um, but the biggest reason that you seal coat, a lot of people think it's to beautify, which yes, it makes your property look better. It's more appealing. Um, you know, it's a welcome mat to your business. And quite frankly, typically it's your second largest investment to your property. You have your building and then your parking lot. So yes, there are a lot of reasons like that you, that you do it, but the biggest reason is to keep your oil that or your AC that's in your asphalt rich in oil content. Try to keep it from oxidizing, because like anything, you're raising the viscosity of it, and as you raise the viscosity, you're making it harder or more brittle. Hence, you start getting more cracking, things like that, water intrusion, and it's sort of a vicious cycle from there on. I compare it a lot of times to a, a wood deck on your back patio. You wouldn't put in an expensive, nice wood deck and then decide, well, I'll just let it deteriorate and maybe five or seven years start maintaining it. Typically, you put it in, you let it uh, dry or cure out, you know, the pressure treated wood, and then you come back and you stain and, and waterproof it. It's no different with your parking lot. After you do your first seal coat, then how frequently do you, would you need to see a cookie parking lot? A lot of that's going to depend on your traffic volumes. Is it, you know, tight, twisty, or straight? There's, there's a lot of variables, and that's why it's important to pick the right person that's going to come out and lead you and guide you through the maintenance schedule moving forward. 